My mother became physically aggressive. Multiple times she had zip tied my hands and feet together. You know, my mom always told me nobody would believe me. I was fully isolated from everybody. I had no friends, nobody. I was 100% treated differently. I remember saying that I, I'm not trying to trick you because I remember thinking that nobody believed me as a kid. Yeah, it's, that's, that's heavy. Opening up about his childhood for the first time, John and Kate Plus 8 star Colin Gosselin has made several shocking allegations against his mother, claiming she isolated him from his seven siblings, locked him in a basement, and physically and emotionally abused him in an exclusive interview with the U.S. Sun. While millions of viewers tuned in to follow the lives of John and Kate Gosselin, their twins, and their sex tuplets, making it one of TLC's highest rated TV shows of the 2000s, Brave Colin has now revealed that off screen there was a horrifically dark side to life in the Gosselin family. It was rough. It was it was rough. Um, I definitely went through it a lot as a kid um, from my mother's end, so it was tough. My mother at many, many times and most of the time became physically aggressive, um, verbally, verbally very abusive with the things she would say and, and obviously that carries over to you know, the emotional side of things where, you know, a young child doesn't know any better. The one that has the most bumps and bruises is definitely Colin. He falls like 56 times an hour, but he's not tough. He gets upset. A very, very emotionally abusive relationship. And um, when my mother would put me in that room multiple times, she had zip tied my hands and feet together and bolt locked the door, turned the lights off and had cameras there just watching me. In that room that my mother had built, um, oftentimes she had zip tied my hands and feet together and kept me locked in there um, for most or all of the day for multiple days. And that doesn't just make you feel helpless, but it was the fact that I had, I had nobody in my life then. I didn't have my siblings, I didn't have teachers at school, I didn't have anybody, I didn't have friends. You know, I wasn't allowed to visit my father. I had nobody to go to, not one person to talk to. I had no relationship with anybody. Um, I was fully isolated from everybody. I had no friends, nobody. As I'm older now, and I, I can kind of look back and see videos or pictures of myself younger, it, it definitely is it's, it's a crazy experience because, you know, I look at my younger self and it, it upsets me. You know, I don't even like to look at pictures of myself because it just reminds me of, you know, those kinds of things. And it also makes you realize, like, you know, this is, that's not, that's not okay what happened. Um, and you realize that no kid should have to go through it. That's not okay at all. It, it got to the point where I was, um, where, you know, word was getting out and child services were being called. Me being at home in the house, there was just too many ways that my mother could have been exploited. Things took another catastrophic turn for Colin when age 11, his mother had him sent to Fairmont Behavioral Health, a mental health facility in Pennsylvania, after having him diagnosed with multiple mental health and behavioral issues, including autism, ADHD, and bipolar disorder, conditions that recent medical reports show he does not have. Terrified young Colin was to spend the next 22 months of his life at the institution. In, in her desperate attempt to protect herself, um, she placed me in this institution with no, for, there was no notice. It just, I, it, one day it was like up and gone. You know, it just, it was a very, very um, quick and just, you know, I, one day I was sent away from home and placed there and, yeah, and I was scared. Young Colin, desperate and alone, managed to send a secret letter to his dad begging him to take him out of the facility. For the first time since he penned the letter in Cran eight years ago, Colin emotionally read it aloud to the U.S. Sun. There was a lot of nothing. I didn't know where I was. I'd always been alone. At least it was a place away from home, but it was still very scary. So for 22 months, I didn't step foot in one classroom. I didn't do one worksheet, nothing. Um, excuse me. This letter was um, dated in June of 2017. Dear Dad, I'm not trying to trick you, but I still love you. I told Mom I want to live with you, and she said no. But right, she can't choose for me, and I'm old enough now, I'm your son, not hers. She was abusive to me after I left your house, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, take this to court, um, excuse me. And I said, Dad, you're my savior, uh, please help me, I'm counting on you to get me out of here. I remember saying that I, I'm not trying to trick you because I remember thinking that nobody believed me as a kid. Uh, you know, my mom always told me nobody would believe me. I was that desperate that I had to explain to him that this wasn't a trick and I, had, I hadn't seen him for so long 
because I, I wasn't allowed to visit him. I did want to live with him. Um, looking back at it, I'm, I'm really glad I did this. It was tough. I was scared to write it because I hadn't seen my dad in years and I, I didn't really know what he would think. Like, what, is this real? Like, you know, why is he trying to reach out to me? Like, I mean, I'm sure he knew why I'd been trying to reach out to him, but it, you know, I was scared to write this. It was a leap of faith that I had to take and I'm looking back, I'm really glad I did that for my younger self. In integrating back into like society with like, you know, kids in my age group, it was tough. Um, it was like towards the end of middle school and, um, you know, I, I remember finding some academic work a little difficult and I didn't really know how to talk to my peers. Resilient Colin defied all odds, graduated from high school and embarked on his lifelong dream to join the military. I didn't really know that it was the Marines when I was younger, but I always knew that I, I you know, I had that patriotism in me and I wanted to serve my country and, you know, I, I always knew it was there. Um, and I, I remember like signing that contract and going off to training and, 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 and stepping foot, you know, on Paris Island, I, I just remember like on the yellow footprints, I remember like as a kid, I never really knew what that dream was, but when I got there, it, it just all clicked and I was like, yep, this is what it, this is, this is what the dream was. And um, that, that brotherhood and that camaraderie and the leadership and just how, you know, my drill instructors and all the Marines on Paris Island carry themselves, it, it's truly an amazing thing. It's amazing, it, it, it's breathtaking, and it, it's such an amazing organization. And uh, this country is, is lucky to have the U.S. Marines. Sadly, Colin's dream was to be short-lived when on July 21st, 2023, Mother Kate, who he had no contact with since he was hospitalized, made an extensive post on Instagram where she claimed he had multiple psychiatric diagnoses, accused him of having a distorted perception of reality, and accused him of exhibiting unpredictable and violent behaviors. This post went insanely viral. And in this post, my mother talks about how I have a, a large, large list of diagnoses. I couldn't defend these attacks. I didn't even know what was going on until my friend actually mailed me a picture of this. It got around and it raised a lot of questions. Things started to get looked through on Paris Island. And what was discovered was that I was in an institution and from the, from the side of the things in the Marine Corps, they you know, couldn't tell if these, if these claims on social media were true about these diagnoses. They couldn't tell if they were true or not. That ultimately led to my discharge because I wasn't able to provide sufficient um, evidence that these were false until I got home. And that's when I sought out to get a uh, professional psychiatric evaluation done. Uh, a full evaluation was completed and the doctor states here, Colin Gosson does not meet does not does not meet criteria for any of the diagnoses of concern in your evaluation request. And that request was um, from the Marine Corps. Um, nor do I see evidence to indicate any other psychiatric diagnose, diagnosis or behavioral disorder in his current functioning. Due to these allegations that she posted on social media, my dream of becoming a US Marine was crushed. Now I have to fight and do everything I can to fulfill that dream still. And it's important for me, for her to come forward with the truth because I want nothing more than to serve my country. You know, you think your mother's on your side of things and I, and I wish that things never went this way and I wish I didn't have to come forward and put all this information out there, but it, this is very important to me. I'm constantly having to defend myself. I'm constantly having to state the record. Fairmont Behavioral Health System, the mental health facility in Pennsylvania where Colin stayed, issued a statement to the U.S. Sun. While we cannot offer comment on specific patients or their care due to HIPAA patient privacy laws, I can share that at Fairmont Behavioral Health System, every day our staff strives to maintain a total therapeutic environment through individualized treatment for each patient. Comprehensive patient-oriented activities include group therapy, family therapy, allied therapy, and educational services. Patient care is overseen by a multidisciplinary team led by a team of psychiatrists. Attorney Richard Paleo, who represented Kate in past legal cases, said, There's always two sides to every story, and when things take place in the past, it's hard to determine because people have differing recollections and perspectives. However, I can personally attest to this situation as I knew Kate and all eight of her children since they were small, and I don't believe Kate ever did anything intentionally to harm Colin. 
I think she did whatever she did to protect herself and her family from some of his troubled behavior as a child. That's not to say he's got psychological impairment. I'm not a psychiatrist. However, I think if Kate did the things that Colin is accusing Kate of, she would have been investigated by the authorities and prosecuted. Additionally, I don't think the Marine Corps saw Kate's post and decided to throw Colin out. Could Kate's post have had some influence? Sure, I think it may have made them delve into Colin's history, but blaming his mother for being thrown out of the military is misplaced.